everybody it's your girl lock goddess and i am back with another youtube video this is actually my first video on camera the first one i did um was just like a cooking tutorial so i'm back and i'm hoping that i can be as consistent as possible with you guys um i have been thinking about doing a youtube channel for some time now but you know just never really got the energy to do it but now i'm motivated i'm here i'm ready and i'm open to everybody's tips and tricks on how to build their youtube channel um so definitely please guys support 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 um subscribe to my channel like this video um leave some different suggestions in the comment section below for what videos you would like to see me do um but this is going to be my first official talking video so if y'all see me looking this way a little bit it's because um I just have to get used to being on camera. So without further ado, today I am bringing you guys a video on some tips and a survival kit on how to stay snatched, how to keep that body sexy, how to keep your mind focused in the wintertime. Now, a lot of you guys, um, I'm sure know that when it gets colder outside, like it just gets hard to stay motivated. Like you don't want to do anything. You want to eat junk food. You want to stay inside because it's too cold outside. Well, I know that is for me. I have a few friends who actually prefer um, the fall and the winter weather. And fall is okay, but as soon as that snow starts to get in, trickle down, I just be like, yeah, I'll stay in the house. <laughs> this video is just going to give you guys some tips and tricks that have worked for me so far and then also things that I am currently using at this moment um, to help me because the reality is that everybody falls off the bandwagon every now and again and that's okay that's completely fine um it's not the end of the world you are not the only person that is going through things like this so without further ado let's get into the video okay tip number one on how to stay motivated in the winter time or when you're just not feeling like being motivated at all um would be to definitely write your goals down and keep them in a visible area at all times Literally, when you wake up in the morning, your goals need to be, boom, right there over your bed. You go into your bathroom, you need to have sticky notes on your mirror. You need to have your goals written somewhere in the kitchen, at your work cubicle, um, on your dashboard, in your car, um, anything like that. And the reason why, number one, and um, I was a psych major in college, and we learned this, that when you write your goal down, like when you actually physically take the time to write it down, the chances of you actually sticking to it are going to be greater versus you just saying it in your head, oh yeah, I'm going to get to it. You know, writing something down and keep just keeping it next to you like i like to use to-do lists at work if it's right there next to you then it's almost like you're forcing yourself to remember okay i have to complete this by the end of the day or by the end of the week or something like that so keeping your goals visible and right there in front of you is very important another thing that i've seen people do before is create a vision board which i think is really awesome um first of all you gotta have a lot of creativity for that I'm not really the most creative person in the world, but that doesn't mean that um, you know, I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, maybe I can try to link uh, a video to like some cool examples of um, how to do good vision boards, maybe in the um, description box below. So you guys definitely make sure you check that out. But yes, that is tip number one. Write everything down, write your goals down, and keep it visible out. All right, so the number two tip that I have for you guys would be always keep positivity around you. I cannot stress this enough, guys. Um, it is nothing like being in a negative environment. It will suck the life out of you. I have been there before. I have done that before. You want to keep positive people. We already know it's already it's cold outside. It might be muggy. It might be snow and ice everywhere. And, you know, they come in and work. Uh traffic was so bad you know like negative energy spreads and you do not want to be number one you don't want to be that person that's spreading the negative energy number two you don't want to place yourself in an environment that is going to affect your mental as a person i'm sure we all got that one friend that's just always complaining like girl bring it down bring it down like life is not that bad you know keep a positive environment i have made it a habit lately to always start my day with a positive message you know, listening to a podcast or um, finding a good motivational video on YouTube. Maybe you have like some YouTubers who are like your favorite that motivates you. Whatever it is, you know, what you do and what you put into your mind within the first 20 minutes of you waking up, that's what's going to have the most impression. That's the most impressionable thing that's going to be on your head. So if you wake up and you listen to ratchet music like, ah, turn up, 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 turn up
that don't work for me to learn that because at the end of the day if i'm starting my day off with a bunch of loud ratchet like cursing music like who knows where my mindset is going to be i'm the I'm type person where i have to start my day off with something very positive something very motivating something very inspiring negative energy spreads guys do not be that person who is just always has that that negative aura you know because like i said that's Literally, like, draining. It drains your spirit. And then before you know it, you walking around, man. You like, but I started off having a great day. Like, definitely, um, it's very important to keep a positive atmosphere at all times. Okay, so the number it. three tip that I have for you guys would be that your house and your body need to be lit. Now, of course, I don't literally mean like, eh, hey, turn up type of lit. When I say lit, I mean as in warm. <laughs> like your body, keep your body warm. In the wintertime, you know, your house might get a little colder, um, you know, because the temperature is dropping outside. So leave some slippers by your bed. So that way when you wake up, you're not immediately like, oh my God, I want to jump back into bed. Um, leave your, you know, your robe or like a Snuggie or something like that. Leave it close to your bed. So that way when you wake up, the first thing that you're doing is flipping on them slippers and putting on that robe and then you're going to get your day started start your day with a cup of tea or a cup of hot chocolate something that keeps you warm internally as well so that way you're not thinking and you're not waking up like oh gosh it's cold i don't feel like going to work i don't feel like going to work out i don't feel like exercising so as i'm talking about working out that kind of leads me to my next tip which is tip number four i believe buy equipment and make a mini version of the gym right there at your house whether it be in your living room if you have a garage or if you need to readjust your room a little bit rearrange your room i mean five below amazon um you can even check the thrift store for different things like just get light stuff like dumbbells jump rope um what are some other things that i have i have a waist belt i have a yoga mat um i have little ankle weights and different things those are just some examples but all platforms of social media there is no reason why you cannot get up and work out even if it's in your own home and you won't regret it when the summertime comes you'll be like dang i'm so happy that i chose to take those 15 minutes a day in the winter time to work out like i was supposed to because i'm satisfied with myself tip number six guys this is actually one of my favorites would be to get an accountability partner my best friend has been my accountability buddy for well over a year now um by the grace of god me and her live mm, give or take about 10 or 15 minutes away from each other we have a um gym membership at the same gym and um we pretty much wake each other up in the morning accountability buddy is so important to me because the days where you don't feel motivated that person might be extra motivated and they might be able to give that positive um, energy and inspiration to you and then vice versa the whole point is that you have somebody that you're going through the struggle with um, and it just makes working out that much better um, you can do partner workouts um, you know challenge each other and different things like that so it's really motivating knowing you know that you have an accountability buddy that okay like I'm, I'm not in this by myself me and my best friend have very similar goals when it comes to our body and you know what we want um, and the results that we want to see so it really works out for us but yes do what you can I think there's actually an app if you don't have a person that you can use as your accountability buddy, I think they have an app where you can find a gym partner. Um, if I can find that app, I'm going to try to leave the link down below so y'all can check the app out. I've never used it before because like I said, I go with my best friend. But hey, whatever works to keep you inspired. And last but not least, guys, my final tip that I would like to leave you guys with would definitely have to be keep healthy meals and snacks around you at all times. Meal prep huge 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 benefit i haven't really been meal prepping as much as i would like to lately however on a good week or a good month i meal prep breakfast lunch dinner snacks like i'm talking about y'all i be on it i waste no time because i'm telling myself you are not going to give up on these goals so keep healthy snacks and healthy meals around you if you meal prep it is so easy to come home after a long day of work and instead of grabbing that unhealthy snack that you want instead of grabbing those cookies or that cake or that honey bun or something like that you already know okay boom dinner is already in the refrigerator packed up ready to go i just gotta throw it in the microwave i like to do crock pot recipes in the winter time because you can keep them on low if you work nine to five by the time you come home your dinner is completely ready all you're doing is scooping it out into the bowl and eating it crock pot is probably definitely one of the best things that i've invested in so definitely crock pot meal prep keep snacks good snacks in the house like you can have more healthy snacks than you do unhealthy so again it is okay every now and again to have the the cookie or the brownie that you want however it's always best to have healthy alternatives as well instead of peanut m ms go for dark chocolate almonds or 
instead of, you know, cookies and cream, ice cream, or loaded down Snickers or Kit Kat ice cream or something like that, go for Halo Top or go for Arctic Zero. But yes, healthy alternatives, um, meal prep, those things are going to save your life. They're going to keep your body snatched. So guys, that is the end to my video. I really, really hope these tips help you guys. Again, if I missed anything, feel free to drop, you know, in the in the comment section and let me know what do you do to stay motivated in the winter time? How do you stay inspired? Um, you know, what are some tips and tricks that you can give to other people to motivate them? Again, I definitely look forward to bringing you guys more videos. Let me know what topics y'all want to hear. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Let others know again i hope this video inspired you guys and until next time see ya